Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. I'm Jonathan Friedman. Our next guests uh, on Radio Entrepreneurs, the remote edition, are John Pratt, CEO and founder of Life Solutions Group, and Jay Pratt, president of Life Solutions Group. Welcome, guys. Thanks, Thanks very much, Jonathan. Pleasure having you on Radio Entrepreneurs. Tell us a little about your company and what it is that you guys do. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, our firm was really founded fi fundamentally on two premises. Number one, that 85 to 90 percent of the jobs today are happening on Main Street and small businesses and a large percentage of those small businesses are struggling to get the advice they need to really succeed and we wanted to make sure that we made a difference in that space we focused our business model on working with those business owners and helping them to have um, better success in the growth of their companies better success in the transition of those companies so that uh, they would have a succession plan in place at the end uh, keep the continuing the business going to really secure those jobs for the employees and at the same time spend time providing financial education and advice to the employees as well because we saw fundamentally things changing across America with technology, the advent of technology, profitability for big companies becoming critical and thinner advice to the average American disappeared and financial education for Americans really doesn't occur in the traditional education system. So our focus was really fundamentally on the two things, right? Secure the business relationship, help the business owner, secure that that company was going to have a high propensity for success, and then stay and provide financial education and advice to the employees so that they were educated, empowered, and able to execute the things for themselves that would allow them to live and enjoy their life um, and, and really maximize their earnings uh, and make better financial decisions for themselves and their families. So, so you, uh, you cited some uh, numbers earlier when we were talking, 85 to 90% of businesses, and we've heard this over and over again, are really uh, small businesses in this country. And um, you, you, know, you, you talk about a population, if you think about it, that really historically has not had that access provided at all by their company. It's, it's you know, work 10 hours a day and then go home and try and figure it out at night. <laughs> you know? So it sounds like you guys are, are looking to crush that model and say, hey, Mr. Business Owner, even though you're a small business, we wanna give you the tools not only to succeed for yourself and your family, but bring that game or that capability to your employees as well. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. We saw that there was a huge gap, that the bigger companies had resources that the littler companies didn't have, uh, and it was priced out of the marketplace. So you had a real lack of advisory services being focused on Main Street. So the owners didn't have the resources they needed to really make good financial decisions when to grow, how to grow, when to add staff, how to add staff, um, how to fund those employees through the benefit pa packages that they were being crushed by. Uh, the cost of benefits, as we all know today, are very expensive. The burden of that has shifted from 100% employer to 50-50 typically for most employers and employees, but the burden has fallen heavily on both shoulders of the employer and the employee. And we really wanted to partner in that space to make the lives of both the employer and the employee better provide more safety and security and education for both sides of it uh, to ensure that at the end of the day, people could put their kids through college. People could retire and know that they had a plan that they wouldn't outlive their money, that they wouldn't get into trouble if they got sick, that they'd have the right kind of coverage. Um, and also provide legal advice and all kinds of other services, tax as well, um, to really complete the picture of advisory services. So our company, Life Solutions Group, really goes to marketplace as a complete community where we have ourselves direct resources here at the firm. And then we have partnerships with other firms that provide resources in that same space in a coordinated effort to provide complete education and advice to both the business and the employees of that company. We find the owners of the company really appreciate um, being able to contact Life Solutions Group and whoever their um, direct contact is with us so that no matter what the issues are that come up, they don't have to call five, six, seven different companies and deal with customer service. They're dealing with Life Solutions Group. They're dealing with their individual relationship. And that person acts as a quarterback, really taking on any of the initiatives that come, come about. So it's, it's the business owner. They love it because it's so much more efficient for them to deal with one point of contact and have us behind the scenes working for them. And, uh, you know, it, it's just been, it's been very successful and the business owner really does appreciate uh, the work and service we provide. I'm glad you stole the, stole the thunder, Jay. I was going to say, so you guys essentially act as a as a quarterback, seeing all the sports memorabilia behind you. I know you guys are sports fans. Um, so, so Life Solutions Group engages with a, a business owner 
And then how does it work in terms of rolling out to the organization or is that part of the initial engagement anyway? Is it taken for granted that we're gonna get engaged with the employees? Yeah, we, we take a very holistic approach and we start with what the owner wants us to focus on. We explain to them that it's, it's fully um, accessible as a holistic complete picture or we can bring parts in. So if a business has, let's say an HR partner that's providing HR support for them for the bringing on and managing of employees, and they don't need that resource from us, then we're going to turn that resource off and we're going to wrap our resources around their HR resources. Um, if they need help with technology platforms to accommodate the bringing in of employees, the managing of payroll, the managing of benefits, um, we've got technology solutions or we plug into the technology solutions that they have. So we really take a step that's called discovery with our owners to find out what's working, what's working well, how can we be a resource to them, and if they need complete immersion of our firm, we can come in and bring in all resources from A to Z and really turn everything on for them. Um, from legal to tax, to insurance, to investments, to 401ks, benefits, payroll, HR support, as well as merchant services. And also one area that I find to be deficient in, in Main Street is the ability to go in and look at their company, look at all the moving parts of their business, complete an analysis of that financially to determine whether or not they're losing capital that we can stop the loss, recapture the capital and turn it back into the company so that they can again enjoy better profitability and better better services to their employees. So, you know, this has been an area that um, I, I guess certainly over the last couple of decades has evolved pretty tremendously. Um, when you say, uh, you know, you're really focused on Main Street, what is, what's that profile? What's a typical client profile look like? Our typical client is, is one of two. It's typically somebody that's in a startup mode that says, how do I get my business off the ground? I've got a vision for that business. I'd like to grow that business or an established business that could be as small as five to 10 employees up to as big as a thousand, right? So we don't discriminate. We go to marketplace either through first degree relationships, the ones that we have with our firm and our resources or second degree relationships through some of our strategic partner companies. We work with CPAs, attorneys, and other professional advisors in the marketplace who say, we'd like Life Solutions Group to help our business clients and, and work with our business clients. So in that, in that statement, um, we're in both traditional markets and then non-traditional markets. I know you've had other guests on your show from the cannabis marketplace. We started working in that marketplace five years ago. We started working to be an advocate and to um, bring products to the marketplace, to the cannabis community that didn't exist. They were discriminated against because of the federal regulatory issues that were imposed on them. Um, we went and worked state by state by state to create a better portfolio of offerings for their employees and for the company to be able to offer values uh, that didn't exist in the past. So areas like having disability income protection, areas like having life insurance protection, areas where they couldn't have a pension or a retirement plan where we can come in and give them access to pensions in their, in their space. So again, advocating for the, that marketplace and creating offerings that didn't exist was part of our passion, right? In addition to giving them assistance in, in areas that are non-traditional. So, you know, we've got clients that are in the startup phase that are looking for employees. We help in that search process. We've helped to secure HR directors, heads of, of security and other areas where we have a national, you know, pull and we've got resources across a larger area of, of uh, skills that are looking for jobs and we help place them. Now we don't charge fees for that work. That's just again, part of what we do for our clients to help them. Um, but it gets back to the fact that we do advisory work in that space. Sometimes it's providing them with space. Sometimes it's providing them with, with resources, people, um, and other times it's providing them with the direct things that they need for payroll and for health insurance and for group life insurance and other products that they need for their employees. Excellent. So the breadth of your services are really broad. Um, what, is a, what is a typical engagement? Is it on the advisory services side or is it, is it uh, the adjunct services? How, how does that all work in terms of an engagement with the client? We typically start where they live, right? So if, if we met today, Jonathan, and you said, you know, great to meet you. We're getting introduced through Jason. Jason, you and, you and he, you know, met each other at Fenway Park at a ball game and, and you guys got to talk. A long, long time ago. Long time. Ago. It feels like. <laughs> time, right? 
<laughs> and he said, we ought to get together. And you said, geez, this is great. So we sat down and I said, you know, tell me about your company. Tell me about what's in place. Tell me about the biggest rocks and challenges that you're faced with today. What are the biggest problems or concerns you have that, that you're, you're faced with? And we'd start to work on it on that basis. I would explain to you that we do A to Z. You'd know bandwidth was. You'd know the different types of things that we do for our clients, but you'd also you'd also be getting the resources you need to solve the problems yet. So let's say that you were starting the company and you need to have a payroll solution in place to be able to hire people and pay them. Well, we're gonna plug into you the different options available in your markets based on your business model, the best options, because we're an independent firm, we work for you, we have access to lots of companies and lots of resources, and our job is to know what you need and then get the right resources to you. So there could be six or eight different payroll providers in the marketplace, but for your circumstances, we're gonna give you the two or three that make the most sense. Let you interview them with our help, let you source and, and, and secure the one that's right for you, and then partner with you on the implementation of that new resource in your company. So we're a broker that helps in looking for the right solutions, bringing those solutions in-house for you in your company, and then servicing those relationships to make sure that they're working well. And it goes Excellent. all the way from, you know, anything from payroll, all the way through retirement planning, um, as well as personal planning for you, the owner. You could have, you know, a, a corporate strategy that said, I've got three or four key people that I want to protect. I want them to become the successors to me when I retire. You're looking at myself and my son. He's going to be my successor. We've got a plan in place for that to happen. Many of our clients are looking for the same thing. They're saying, help us develop a strategy for the next generation of leadership. Let's put programs in place that secure that asset, that person. Let's put incentives in place to help them want to stay and also help me want to get paid for the value of the business. So Jonathan, as you sell your business, you're going to want to sell it to the right person that's going to do the right job, but you're also going to want to get the right economics out of it. We coordinate and work on that for you. Jonathan, I would also add that one of the biggest added values that, that we speak of when speaking with a business owner is the financial literacy piece offered to the employees. You know, when a business owner says, I brought in this group to, to help educate you all um, on all the different options that are out there for you individually, uh, you know, that goes a long way for the employee because what we find is a lot of people don't even know uh, what they own. They don't know what they should own. They don't have a strategy in place for retirement. So we go in and, and we help the owner, but we're also looking to sit down with the employees and help educate them on all the different options that are available for them. Excellent. Is that typically done in a one-on-one -on -one setting? Is it done in a group setting? How's that engaged? Well, that think, engagement? Yeah, it, it's typically um, up to the, the company. You know, we could do a lunch and learn where we come in and put on a presentation for the entire group. Uh, we could, we could, you know, set up individual times where we're available and employees can come sit down with the agent that is on site. Uh, it's really up to the business owner and, and the level of comfort there, but we're open to seminars, lunch and learns, one-on-ones. Uh, it's really up to them. Yeah, ideally, ideally what we're going to do is we're going to make the offerings flexible to the company. Say, Jonathan, it's your business. We've got different venues. We've got face-to-face -face classroom where we can bring your, your firm together in small groups and run sessions on college planning, on retirement planning, on basic fundamentals of finance and how, you know, how to manage money, how to borrow properly, how to, how to build your wealth properly. Um, we can do all kinds of things in a classroom. We can do that same thing in a virtual delivery system where your employees can come and participate either in a live virtual session or in a recorded one. And lastly, most importantly, we've got access for those individual employees to meet one-on-one -on -one in a private meeting with themselves, another family member, if it's a spouse or someone significant to them that they want to meet with us and have a conversation that's private to them. So you guys are uh, expanding your own uh, firm, your own practice, your entrepreneurs. Um, as you expand geographically, uh, are you developing those, um, uh, th those partners, those core services within that geographic expansion? Or have you found with the advent of technology and everybody uh, pretty much working remotely or a lot of people working remotely that those barriers are broken down now? I think, I think the world has changed. I think the last 90 days specifically, we've had a chance to do some reflection on how it's going to evolve and be out in front of that. I've spent my career 
working Fortune 100 companies, doing technology initiatives to change the technology platforms to be more innovative. I've done the same thing here. We developed something in the benefit space to help small businesses deal with the growing cost of benefits. So I created technology there. I'm a big believer that innovation um, can be a difference maker for, for anybody that's trying to deliver products. So we will continue to evolve and use uh, technology to deliver. But I fundamentally believe that relationships drive trust and trust drives decisions. So for us, I believe that you'll never be able to remove the face-to-face -face completely. I think you can enhance the face-to-face -face relationships by inserting uh, technology opportunities like we're in today, where we're talking to each other through a, a, a technology platform that allows for this. But I truly believe when people are making life decisions, life decisions that are critical to them, you know, a child's education, their own retirement, a business that's going to grow and expand, and we're making decisions around how we can help that business grow and expand. There's got to be trust, and I believe that that trust is grounded in that face-to-face -face relationship. We're doing things to enhance that so that we don't have to meet every time face-to-face, -face, that we can deliver some of the planning process through technology, but we don't want to ever see the day where we don't uh, have access to meet face-to-face -face with our clients, even if it's, if it's masked, right? Put the mask on. Um, just because I think it's so important that we get face to face, especially because many of our relationships are coming to us through a third party partner, a CPA firm that says, we've got clients that need your help. We'd like to introduce you to those clients. Well, they don't know us yet. They're trusting that their CPA um, is bringing a good firm in, our firm. But we really want to build that relationship and we want that face to face opportunity. Excellent. So if our listeners want to get in touch with you, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? Um, you can either email us at jason.pratt at lsgadvisor.com. Jonathan's is jonathan.pratt at lsgadvisor.com. Or you can give us a call, 978-605-5204. Uh, is my office. And John, you can let them know yours. Or the yeah. I would, I would say call me on my cell phone. I'm on the fly. Jay runs this company. He's the man that runs the engine. I'm on the streets opening up relationships, developing those relationships and working in the field. So 978-239-6881 is my cell phone. Text me, call me. Um, we'd love to meet. And Life Solutions Group's on all forms of social media as well. So you can find us and contact us there as well. Excellent. You know, best of luck to you guys as you continue to expand and grow and love to hear uh, about uh, talk about the future and, and how that pair, uh, panned out at some point. As you, as We'd love to come back, Jonathan. It was a pleasure. Ec excellent. Thanks, our, our guests on Radio Entrepreneurs have been Jonathan and Jay Pratt of Life Solutions Group, and it's been a pleasure having you guys on Radio Entrepreneurs. Thanks, Thanks Jonathan. Have a great day. Thank you. And we'll be right back with another guest on Radio Entrepreneurs.